Ethera Gold 2.5 Overview Terra Gold 2.5. This is an amazing collection of cinematic instruments for contact. In this video, I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you what is included, and there's a lot to see. So we have 19 different instruments with 33 gigabytes of samples. So everything, all that information is here in the Zero G website. But we are going to head over to my Cubase, and we're going to explore the Terra 2.5. So this is a Terra Gold, and as you can see here in complete control, we have a lot of instruments to choose from. We have the core synth, which is sample-based synth. We have the action synth, which is a wavetable loop-based synth. We have action reversed, which is very interesting. We have the true legato uh, vocals. We have the phrases. We have sustained vocals and scripted legato. We also have back vo vocals, we have vocal chops, vocal reversed, and so many other things, including the Cyber World extension. So a lot to cover. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, going to give you a taste of what is Ethera Gold, and then we'll do a follow-up videos to dive in into all of these instruments. So let's get started with the Ethera Gold through Legato with the uh, wonderful Clara Sorace. And what is the true legato? What is it? Well, when you're playing two notes, one after the other, but the uh, second one is overlapping with the first one, you'll get a transition. So most of the time, these transitions are, are synthetic and they are, they are programmed. But here we have the true legato, meaning the transitions were actually recorded. And so every time you play a note and you move to another note, then that will be a different sample selected to complement that transition. So let's try and hear some of the voices here. Now, what is important here is that the, these samples were um, layered. And so depending on the velocity that you play, you will, you will get different samples uh, to, to run. So th this is very, very interesting. And we have different samples, also different phrases. Let's try and do something else. Let's uh, have a quick look inside here. So this is the programmed um, instrument. Let's, uh, let's do this. Mm. Beautiful. So the idea here is that we have these phrases and if you have a complete control keyboard, you'll see the LEDs light up and give you the indication of uh, the different switches and moving from phrases. 
So this is a very simple instrument. As you can see, we have the, uh, the different phrases. We have O, we have A, We have A, M, and we have U. Just beautiful. And as you can see, we have the uh, two buttons here. We we have legato and we have release. Let's uh, uh, let's remove the legato and then we can play chords. And we can select different samples. And you can actually hear the, the breathing um, ending. We also have some controls here like attack, offsetting, starting the sample in a different position, volume, release, and the vibrato. Beautiful. So this is the um, Clara Sorace vocal uh, true legato. And we'll dive into this more later in, in a later video. So let's jump over and see the next one. This is the, um, the uh, Daniele De Andrassi uh, male vocal tenor. And here we have less uh, choices, but the same idea again for true legato. And again, you can remove this uh, legato and play chords. And they can just play together, it's just beautiful. Just beautiful and together with all the music. <laughs> wonderful. So let's move on to another wonderful instrument. That, that would be the vocal phrases. So this, this is pretty cool. And uh, what we have here again is, uh, is the mapping over the, the keyboard. And if you, uh, if you just scroll or play the lower notes. There's uh, uh, different phrases or different sounds that you can have, and even some uh, some uh, precautions. So that that can complement your uh, playing in real time or live. So here, every note is a little bit different, and uh, let me show you. Um, we'll open up the the keyboard so you can see um, what I'm doing. And you can see the, the mapping here. And again, we have legato, we have a time mode, and, and these, these uh, vocals were recorded in a certain key and a certain BPM, so you can match this. And what is recommended is not to uh, go uh, far, uh, you know, far away from that point. Otherwise, it will sound synthetic.
And again, beautiful and beautiful vocals. When, as you can see here, we have a lot of samples to choose from, a lot of uh, presets. Let's try this one. And the different colors are arranged in such a way that uh, some of them are more, uh, you know, for intros, some of them for the main melody, and some of them for endings. So it's really dependent on the color here. So we can uh, play with that. The green ones. purple ones amazing let's uh, let's continue let's uh, try and uh, get something that is more uh, a terra gold 2.5 let's hear this viking vocals Let's try something else. And so many things to just experiment with. Wonderful. So that was the Terra Gold vocal phrases. And what we can also do is let's go back here and again, I'll go to the Terra Gold and let's have a quick look at the, uh, at the reverse uh, vocals here. Beautiful. And again, a lot, a lot of samples to choose from, a lot of presets. Now, one of the things that you should definitely explore is the uh, effect rack. So we have the effect rack here. And as you can see, we have um, eight different effects. We have modulator, we have compressor, EQ, distortion, uh, reverb, delay, uh, amplifier and cabinet. So uh, really, really useful. So let's, uh, let's try something here. So this is the reverber. Some pre-delay. And that can go on forever. So Wonderful. I, I really love it. So, so useful. And uh, the, the, the vocals were recorded in such high quality, just ready for you to, to work with. Let's move on. So th that was the, the reverse. And we have, of course, the, uh, the same uh, synth or the same uh, instrument for uh, the male vocal by Daniele. And we can choose different chants or different phrases.
and you can you can use time mode or you can you can sync this to your uh, DAW to your host and you can use this on uh, with legato wonderful so this is the uh, the reverse now let's uh, let's move on and uh, listen to some more very interesting stuff for example the sustain uh, vocals uh, again by Clara or Daniele. So this is a very simple instrument. As you can see, there's nothing here to no presets, no um, no uh, key switches, just the the main and the effect track. This is really useful for back vocals. And the same goes for the male vocal. Now let's try the vocal chop. This is also one of those simple instruments, just, you know, a, a really fun instrument. So first of all, let's hear it as, uh, as it comes up. I can play with this all day. So we, we have a few very interesting uh, options here. So this is the main view. And as you can see, we have the, um, the ADSR envelope here. You can play with that. And we, we also have some other controls like frequencies and amounts. And some effects here. So the shape is uh, is also a very interesting effect. Let's try that. It's a tube drive. But we also have an arpeggiator, so we can use this very simply. Just draw the the notes here, the velocities, and we have the tuning. So this can be a few um, cents up. And let's uh, let's enable. Go back, we'll try and... Of course, we can change the, uh, the time signature here. We can change the, uh, the pattern. And we also have a, a, a vocal builder. So you can see the phrases here and you can see that this is kind of a round robin. So every time you play something, a different um, phrase will be played. Very, very interesting. So we have the, uh, the slots here and we can set the lengths. As you can see, these little uh, LEDs are turning on as I uh, select more slots. So for example, we can stay with eight and I can select this one and just choose something else here from the drop down. Go back to the arpeggiator. This is way too fast. Let's go for eight. Right, and I can play with this all day. And again, we have the same um, effect rack. Very, very interesting, very useful. Just, uh, you know, exactly what you need. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, um, let's move on uh, to something completely different. And uh, we'll go back to each of these uh, instruments in, uh, in later videos when we explore them uh, in more depth. So 
Now let's just jump over to, uh, to the core synth and the action synth. So the core synth is a, a sample-based instrument. We have three layers. It is a, um, a wavetable um, synth. It, it is uh, very simple on, uh, on, you know, on the outside, but you can do a lot. So let's uh, just select some of the presets here. You can see a lot of presets. Um, arpeggiators. Everything is very geared towards cinematics and epic music. Let's try something else. And we can even run the, the core synth uh, version 1 um, um, sounds here, as you can see, leads. Let's try this one. Right, and what I like about this is that everything was uh, recorded, everything was arranged perfectly. It's just uh, so useful. Let's, uh, let's do some more. We have uh, some cinematic hits. And we have hybrid. Amazing. So that, that is the, the core synth and there's so many things to do here. As you can see, there are uh, sound controls and LFOs and we have uh, more LFOs and more sound controls. We have some uh, things that we can just automate here and let me try and select something else and more we have guitars We also have arpeggiators here, we can enable this one. Very cool, and again, the effect back. So this is wonderful this is the the um, the core synth and then we have the action synth so the action synth is more loop based let's try that one and again this is wavetable and, and loop based so we have uh, multi layer and we have single layer let's try this one We have a lot of things to choose from. Um, so we have some hybrid drums here, hybrid um, layers. And as you can see, we can select into these layers. And by the way, you can import your own samples, your own loops into this. And again, let's try something else, organic. 
single layers. Let's try synth. And again, and again, we we have all these controls here, which uh, I'll cover in a, in a separate video, and we'll talk about that. So we have uh, the the usual envelopes, and we have uh, panning for each of the layers. We also have uh, sound controls like LFOs, octaver, and and uh, a lot of things that you can do. Arpeggiator again, and the effect rack. So that was the, the action synth, just a, a taste of this. And we have the, the older, I mean, the action synth one. And this is also very useful. I mean, um, for example, we have the drum loops here. So th this is pretty cool. Just take this one. So immediately you have cinematic uh, uh, drum loops ready for you. We have the, the epic tribal. And we have also uh, drum loop kits here. So that, that is the, the action synth. And let's head over to the vocal synth, which I love. And the vocal scene is is the same engine, but the, of course the samples are different. We have um, let's let's go for something that I really love, the traditional Tree of Life. Just hear this one. And we can move on. Just amazing. So I can uh, just play with this uh, endlessly. So let, let's hear some uh, vocal gating. We have wavetables, simple wavetable. You can change the position, of course. And the same controls, the same engine. We have uh, we have the LFOs and we have the the this matrix here, the assignable table, which is wonderful and very advanced. We have the sound controls again with the different LFOs, modulators, arpeggiator, and effect rack. So that, that is the vocal synth. And let's try something else. We can turn on these layer effects, which are more saturation and, and other processing. Mm. 
And and so that is Thera Gold in a nutshell. Let me show you some of the stuff that is more related to the cyber world. So let's go to the course in cyber world. And just have a look how many uh, presets we have here. Deep base. Arpeggiators, piano arpeggiators. We have drum kits. What else? What else do we have? We have strings. Let's try that one. And we also have tonal textures. And the same engine here, we have layer one, layer two, and layer three, and we can load in any of these samples here. Let's try this one. And you can just play with this and find your own kind of preset, glide and pitch. And so, again, the same idea, we have the core and we have the action, which is more loop based. Let's try this one. And we have drum loops, for example. Let's try something else. And we can continue to guitars. Let's try the pumping. And again, we have the, the vocal synth for Cyber World. Let's get the long reversed vocal. And moving on to the uh, to the vocals, we have the, the Clara and Daniele phrases, which are wonderful. Again, if you're looking to complement your productions, some phrases. And uh, the, the keyboard, again, is uh, split to colors if you have the complete control. 
And uh, of course, you can use the, the views here. You can go view, edit view, and you'll see the colors. And you can choose the presets here. Let's, let's try this one. Let's try something else. And we can go to ethnic. Try different settings. And even some loops. So that's the Clara phrases. And we have the Daniele. And we can try again to uh, find something else. Now it's very recommended to match the, the BPM. And remember, this is the cyber world, so this is completely different texture and ideas for more uh, cyber world sounds. And finally, let's try and see what's uh, the action synth reversed. So same engine, but we have so many options here. Let's try this one. And that's it. So we covered, I think, pretty much everything in Thera Gold. I hope you enjoy this one. It's uh, it's been fun. So what we'll do is I'll do a series of videos just to cover uh, each of them or a group of them. For example, we'll take the uh, true legato and do a separate video on that and so on. So I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions or anything at all, you want to learn more about the Thera Gold, just leave a comment, of course. So uh, again, thank you and bye-bye.